com. So if I go like that, that's pretty good. You mind if I walk across this and stand right there and sit with you? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. I'll wipe my feet a little bit. Your bus is ten times cleaner than my floor, man. Oh, my bus is a fucking disaster. Right? Oh. <laughs> hey everybody, Jamie here, Enigmatic Pneumatics, and we're just visiting folks around the event, the 2017 uh, Van Build Party. And today we've got Bob and Josh who came. Tell us a little bit about where you came from and your story. I came from Maine and um, I picked Josh up on the way in Pittsburgh. He's coming out to California with me. I've been wanting to, I wanted to come here last year and I couldn't make it for my health reasons. Hey there. <laughs> Sorry about her. That's all right. She's a good dog. So did you know Josh from before or? No, nope, I, I met Josh on a ride ship. You guys met yeah. right on. Yeah. So, on uh, Facebook. And uh, so we've been talking on email. Yep. yep. Tell yep. me, tell us a little bit about your story <clears throat> leading up to coming here. We, we weren't sure if you were even going to make it at one point. No, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it. I had stage <coughs> four throat cancer and um, I was terminal. All the doctors said I was going to die. I wasn't going to make it. And I I beat it. I, I beat it with radiation and cannabis medicine. But um, I'm very fortunate to be here. I'm still suffering radiation side effects. But I'm able to be here. With throat cancer, I would imagine it's stuff to eat. I can't eat at all. I get a peg tube. I eat, I eat. This is what I eat for a peg tube. Okay, what is that? It's a uh, formula, adult formula. I have to get out. Oh, yeah. This dog, man, is so oh, cool. Yeah. If you guys can see, I want a Harlequin Great Dane so bad. I used to have one, Remy. And so I really like seeing this one. Abby's a yeah, rescue man. from California. Oh, wow. She it's was in really bad girl. shape when I got her. She looks a little bit uh, re reluctant. <laughs> She's very timid. It's tough to eat. You can't do it. You got to use a, a, a backup plan for that. Yeah, I eat adult formula through a feeding tube in my, and plant it in my stomach. There it is. And you must have to keep that clean in, in a bus, you know, because you don't want to get infected. I get alcohol and stuff like that. Okay. Do you live in this full time? Yes. Okay, so you live in your bus full time. How long have you been doing it? Um, This is my second year. How do you like it? I love it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't trade it. See, ultimate freedom. What happens after this event for you? Do you go back to? I'm going back to Taos, New Mexico, for a few weeks, and then I'm going to Santa mm -hmm. Cruz, California, with my son. Mm -hmm. Okay. You had mentioned you got you came here. What brought you here? What what prompted you to come to the event? I wanted to meet some of the people that I've been watching on YouTube. I wanted to meet you in particular. Oh, right on. It was it was a big a big big thing on my bucket list. Did you want to have any work done? I'd like to have a uh, continuous duty relay to put in. What's that for? To charge my house batteries. So right now I gotta, I gotta have a charge them on battery chargers and it's kind of really inconvenient. You have two house batteries, coach batteries it looks like? Yep. Deep cycle? Two deep cycle diehard batteries. And how have you been charging them so far? <coughs> By only <coughs> and, and, and battery charger or plugging them in when I have the opportunity. Well, you know, if they don't have a good charge, their the life of those batteries is shortened. I know. I know. What are you powering with them? Just charging devices. Just little handheld devices. You have a lap. You have a laptop. Yeah. I think I saw you. Yeah. So your laptop, handheld devices, and you'd like to get a continuous duty relay installed. Well, we can certainly help you with that. Just get with Jill. Get on the spreadsheet. Yeah. What would you say if I told you that? Uh, some people have been pitching in, and it might turn out that there's extra equipment. And we could put you a solar panel up there. I would say, oh my God, <laughs> I can't afford it. I, my, my, I live on Social Security and it got a little messed up this month. They took a lot of money out from my health insurance. Well, people have been pitching in to make this happen and sometimes uh, there's extra equipment and for sure we can make that happen for you. Awesome, Jamie. Awesome. So we'll get you a solar panel and a controller and I've got all the wiring and either myself or the crew up there that's doing the installs will handle the install. So if you could get with Jill today and let her know you're getting a solar panel installed, I'll go right now and order one, and I already have the solar controller and the wiring, and we'll make that happen for you. And the continuous duty relay so you can charge when you're running and you can charge when you're sitting in the sun. Awesome, Jamie. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, man, just make sure you see Jill, okay? And I'm going to go order that solar panel right now. I'll go see Jill on my way out. i got to get water today. Okay, cool. Thank you. You got it. Thanks, man. Yep, you got it. <laughs> I'm gonna go order it right now. You need a handout, little dog? 